Hey folks, it's Andrew, and let's talk about Little Bits. So they, they snap together, but current flows through them. They're electronic. So the students can very easily build some really cool stuff. Yeah, absolutely. We, <laughs> we got, um, very early on, we got the, um, the quote, uh, Legos for the iPad generation, which <laughs> I actually Fair like. Enough. So each little brick gets a function, okay? And so, like, this is a power supply brick. So, so it connects to a battery here, just a regular 9-volt battery through this little wire. And then you can see you plug it in, the light turns on. But there's, there's dimmer switches and motors, fans, and... All right, so <clears throat> let's build something. We'll take a look at what this looks like. So we've got our power supply here, okay? And then let's suppose that we have, uh, we bring in our fan, and how about our dimmer switch? Okay, so we'll, we'll run this sort of variable speed fan here uh, through the dimmer switch. And you notice that those just snap together. Now, they only snap together in one direction uh, because they're magnets, right? And so... You can only attach them one side, and that helps the circuit flow in the right direction as well. So now we'll turn that on, and you notice that our fan is starting to go a little bit. If we move our switch up, it goes. If we turn the switch down, it stops. Likewise, let's, uh, let's suppose that we want to bring our, our buzzer in here, but we want our buzzer, and we don't want it hooked up to a dimmer switch. Maybe we'll use the light sensor, okay? And so we can decide whether we want it to go when it's light or when it's dark. So we'll do it when it's light, but that, of course, means that if we cover it up, it'll stop. And so you can see the potential here. There's lots of different ways to configure all these, lots of different ways to put them all together, and it gives the students a big opportunity to be creative. Okay, so here's an example of a student who combined the slide dimmer and the power and all that uh, with a motor and then combined it up with Legos to create the um, color wheel that spins. So here's another example. So they've got this trap door uh, that's held in place by this pin. Um, and this is a, um, an arm that rotates this way that what it's attached to is this button with the power supply. And then when they push the button, it's going to activate the arm that pulls the pin out. So as you can see, Little Bits is a cool little STEAM resource for your classroom. And if you have any questions on how to integrate it, let me know. And I look forward to seeing you around.